Alrighty, how we doing guys? Welcome to the stream. Um, as soon as this wants to capture, we'll have a look. So this is uh, the coin game. Um, so if you know me, you know I like my um, simulator games. Uh, my summer car, cooking simulator, those sort of ones. The indie ones that have got a little bit of jank, they're a little bit of fun as well. Um, this one, they called it the coin game because it's sort of hard to sum up with by putting simulator at the end of it. It's basically recreating, I guess, your experience as a kid where you're riding around trying to save up money to go to the arcades and win tickets to hand in for prizes. So, yeah, I suppose it's, it's definitely an interesting game. There's a lot of content to it so far. I think they just added a mini golf course. But here we go. Um... Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have a smart watch. Um, so what do we got? Welcome to the coin game. Give it a good like on Steam if you enjoy it. Yep, lots of stuff to do on the thing. Um, oh, yeah, we, so it's giving us jobs we can do to earn a little bit of extra cash. Barry's Pawn Shop. Uh, we have a curfew, so we got 15 hours till our curfew. Uh, Jones family wants a babysitter. Oh, Jerry's selling a golf cart. Nice. And someone wants their lawn mode. Okay. Yeah, just have a quick look at that. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, this is, um... This is a goose. Uh, I believe his name is Gary. <laughs> there we go. Check the TV on. And I think this is Mumbot. So, like, there's no other humans in the game. It's all represented by these weird robots. Yeah, you watch TV, Gary. His name's... Yeah, Gary's Dinner. So we actually have to top up Gary's Dinner on occasion. We have rubber bands for a rubber band gun. Not too exciting. <laughs> Gary, Gary, no like. And stop jumping into the phone. Oh, we scared him off. He's gone to his bed. And this is about... He apparently has a tanning salon as well. Oh, he's... Honey snores too. That's <laughs> okay. We've learnt something new about Gary. Okay. Yeah. So you can see there's a little fun park thing out there. Um, fair bit to the map. I just heard the mic. That's okay. That's a good a good feature. I actually, had the microwave going off in the background while outside. But yeah, I think they're trying to recreate like the sleepy coastal holiday town kind of vibe. There seems to be a lot of a few places like this in America, not so much in Australia. Um, come on, no, no, you want to get in there? You want to push in? You want to push in, buddy? There we go. And that earns us a dollar, one dollar. Knock knock. Right, babysitting tasks. Put boy to bed, put girl to bed, place toys in chest, clean floor. Right. Right, get in your little scamps. Stop chucking toys everywhere. Come here. <laughs> oh, look at all the family photos. They're having fun at the park. Oh, it's a kitty one. That's cute. There we go. Don't know where that USB port's going, but anyway. No, you fucking come here, young child. In you go. Off to bed. Ooh, danger D boy. Alright. Sweep, 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 sweep. Just <laughs> try and speed run it. Ah, shit. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I can only sweep so much of the floor while I'm sitting down. What in the hallway, wasn't there? There we go. Job complete, 20 bucks. Alright. And <laughs> I love how we're trying to recreate the 80s feel, but we're all dressed in, like, you know, Zuma kids' clothes. And, ooh, is that puppy dog? Hello, puppy dog. How you doing? Oh, super cute. Little mini dash hand doberman thing. No, come here, give me a cuddle. Oh, I don't want to smooch. This is worse than playing with bloody Ronnie. There you go. What do we have? Oh, chicken fingers. Oh, those are some horrible looking chicken, chicken fingers. I'm hoping that's like date pudding or something like that um but yeah we'll have one now the energy drink we'll probably take a few for the road 
And I don't think we have a bin in here, so I don't know what I'm going to do with the um, the rubbish. But anyway. Oh, I always hate doing these little narrow bits up the side. They're always fun. I did like odd jobs. Like, you do that when you're a teenager, just odd jobs to get a little bit extra money. Um, I had to water, go and water someone's yard for about three weeks. Um, also, a little bit of babysitting here and there. Uh, no, where I got my big bank was uh, I used to DJ for the high school. Um, back when I was in high school, they did it as part of like the music club. They picked like two people. What was that? Oh, that's um, that's the other arcade over there. That's one owned Billy's, I think. Yeah, so they picked like four of us, and we'd use like the school's equipment to uh, do the discos. But yeah, we used to get like other gigs where they'd actually commission us to, you know, to head out and um, it was pretty lucrative, I think. We charged 200 bucks, 50 went to the school and we went hard. So we'd get like 75 bucks a pop for about three, four hours work. That was good fun. Um, I remember there was a girl at school I went to her. Oh, there we go. Job's done. Yeah, you got the right idea, bud. Uh, just random gangster with the base. Holy shit, they're trying to hunt him down with a baseball bat? No, fuck off. You guys fuck off right now. And here we are. So yeah, they used to have a setup like this. Like, yeah, so it's... These are the ones you kind of get nowadays. It's all skill tester machines. Where you win tickets to earn prizes. Pretty much, yeah, like Chuck E. Cheese without the games, I suppose. Without, like, the cabinet games. But that's basically why they prevailed, wasn't it? Like, you, um... Yeah, um... What was I going with? Oh! Where's the... Oh, no, it's disabled. Yeah, so normally if you, um... Uh, hang on, let's go watch. Woo! -hoo! Teddy and the Ticket Eaters! Look at him go. Yeah, so they're trying to spoof um, Chuck E. Cheese as well, obviously. Right, so balls. Chuck the ball. Ooh, now we got the jackpot. Gonna get in the hole? Yeah, yeah, ooh, bonus round already. Okay. Bonus, bonus round. round. Pretty good for the first ball. ball. Bonus ball. Bonus ball. Bonus Ooh, tickets ball. already. Nice. Yeah, come on, just get in the hole. Twenty five tickets. Six hundred and twenty five tickets, holy shit. Great start. Fantastic start. Okay. Yeah, no skill for this one, just pure luck. Oh shit, that's some tickets. Whoa! Alright, no, that's never happened to me before. That doesn't happen in real life either. Getting bonus shit on the first go. Wow. Hey, we did... That's ridiculous. And look at it all spitting out. Look at them delicious tickets. <laughs> oh, that kid's on a hoverboard too. Nice. Oh, that must be the birthday girl. Hello! Yes, I am a 36-year-old man in an arcade. You probably shouldn't be hanging around me. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. And... <laughs> ten? No, 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 this one's rigged too. They're all rigged. They're all rigged, I say. Now, yeah, the reason I got into this game, I saw Jammer play it. He's a little bit hooked on this one, so I'll have a quick go. Four hours left on the curfew. Okay. Um, so hold, release, whack the ball. Where's the green thing? Oh, we went past it. It was right at the front there. Okay. Yeah, it's a little hard to tell where the light is. Um, ah, another short one. Okay. Nah, that's way too short. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna get hooked on this one too, aren't I? 
Right, no, this is the big one. Let's... So you gotta get it dead on the green... the green light. And... No, it all seem to be going a little too short. Alright. I might hand in tickets, because we're very close to curfew. And that'll be it for the day. Go feed the goose and have a sleep. That's pretty good around the sale. Like 2,000 fucking tickets already. Do we win a prize? What prize can we get? If it isn't the big winner. Yeah, cheers, mate. What are we getting? Yeah, paddleball. Hold on. Right item. And how do we get out of the machine? Okay. Hey, get out of here, you old pesky idiots. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna turn the lights off and get a bit, I think. And yeah, I used to have the, the glowy stars. Not this many. But yeah, I used to have a few. Oh yeah, there's drinks and stuff. I might just quickly... Let's see if I can practice my mad claw skills. No, okay, <laughs> my claw skills are shit. <laughs> oh, buddy. What you got? Oh, it's like a boy scout. Okay. Um, yep. Grab some papers. Oh, it must be a scout thing because it's got the um, fleur de lis on it. That was like the symbol for scouts. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I kind of wish they'd fix the um, thing I. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Thankfully, being run over by a truck does not affect your health. Good. Um, and there's no, like, selection options. You've got to, like, physically drop it out of your inventory and then try and fit it in there, which is easier said than done, especially on a controller. Come on, you. No, fuck. Come on. Get in the hole. Yep, can't paperboy this shit, unfortunately. Terrible at paperboy, but still. Option to just piff it in, it'd be good. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. God damn it. Just get in there. Get in. There we go. Got one. But yeah, I'm trying to remember other um, arcades that sort of came to mind. I remember, yeah, like pub bistro areas would have like little mini areas, kind of like where we were in before. Depending on the pub, it, you had to be like a fancy pub, not like the dingier sort of ones. But I remember playing. The Star Wars arcade game in like the little sit down cockpit cab. Uh, Discs of Tron. I remember playing that. Ah, uh, what else was there? Never went to upscale ones. I was reading stories about people. There was apparently a really upscale one in the UK somewhere that was like super posh, super clean and tidy. Like there was a bit of a stigma with arcade game uh, arcades in the 80s. Um, because they were usually dingy and were drug fronts. And I'm so sort of glad I never saw that side of it. But, um, no, the one I, in particular that was always fond to me was, um, so I grew up in Queensland and Australia, and if you went to the capital of Brisbane, um, you go to the Queen Street Mall, and up at the top of the Maya Centre in the Queen Street Mall, there was a uh, big arcade up there. And it was usually like several levels that had um, lots of cab, lots of good cabs, and what was it? Um, oh, there was a roller coaster. There was a roller coaster you'd actually run around on, and it was like supported up in the air, and you could look over like the entirety of the mall, which is pretty cool. Yeah, here we go. What do we got? Arcade, boat pond, pizza, putt putt golf, shooting gallery. And they're all working on, yeah, working on the shooting gallery. Yeah, I could go some air hockey, actually. Because this, yeah, you get randos coming along. <laughs> get wrecked. Yeah, play with some randos. This somehow earns you tickets as well. I used to smack the shit out of it when I was a kid. Used to be able to, yeah, I was tall enough to actually reach to halfway to kind of push it in as well. 
Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. But yeah, there used to be a big one in uh, Mackay, which is the town I was born in, which is like two and a half hours from my hometown. And uh, it's it was connected onto the shopping centre in Mackay. Uh, it's where the... There's a bank there now, but there was like a little warehousey sort of area with like heaps of cabs. Uh, it was the first place where I played uh, virtual reality. Uh, at five bucks a pop in 90s money, which was, uh, I think I did it like once. Um, but it was sort of early 90s, so back in the days when Pizza Hut uh, did all you can eat. So you'd usually have your meal at Pizza Hut across the road, and then just mosey over and play some arcade games. One grease bucket coming your way. Nice. Oh my god, I just realized the bot has like acne on it. That's terrifying. <laughs> Here's your taco, sir. Oh, that's a big energy hit. Nice. That's what we needed. We got time for mini golf? Yeah, let's do some mini golf. Why not? And I might do the back nine this time. For my five dollar dues. And give it a good old whack. And oh, just in bounds. Nearly got it in, too. Right. Oh, we get some sea shanty music as well. Nice. Ah, oh, mm, yep. Keep hitting the lip. Keep hitting the lip. Oh, and I always hit it too soft too. That's also an issue. And what well, they working on like a haunted house for this bit or something? Oh, that was smooth. That's oh yes. Hole in one. I like it. What is this one? Oh, you gotta... Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Try and drop it down the, um, the wall. Alright. Yeah, let's let's go tricky. Let's go bank shot. Doink, 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 doink. Down the wall. Yeah, cool. Nice close putt. Beautiful. On par. Now, this one's been taking up a lot of my time. So you got to use the shovel to push everything off this thing, but if you hit the um, handle in the middle, it's a game over. Alright, here we go. We'll push as much of this shit off as we can. Get off. The key seems to be, like, if you pile up, the more you pile up, more you can kind of push off. Avoid the shovel. I didn't do so great on this one. Two seconds. No. Yeah, and I, there's a trick to it. I haven't quite figured out the trick yet. I'm not 100% sure. But I like this one. This one, like 50 cents a pop. Alright, let's do it. So you can sort of go like on the back and kind of push as much as you can forward, I suppose. And then try and push it down on a line. It doesn't always seem to work though. You just don't have enough time to do all of it. Just watch the shovel handle. Try and get the chest because they got the most shit in them. There we go, that's a big one. Idea. No, just not enough though. We're only getting like. I don't know, we jumped up a little bit. Gotta get like 270 to get 100 tickets. 50's not too bad. Yeah, Goose could use some food, I suppose. Fuck, I'm really gonna have to go and get Goose food tomorrow. We already used up like a pack a day feeding this fucking Goose. Where is he, by the way? Where the fuck is the Goose? Gary, where are ya? Can someone get that TV back on? I don't watch TV. Can hear him. Gary. You better not be on my bed again, Sonny Jim. Fucking. No, I just. Where the hell is the goose? I'm supposed to be taking care of this thing. Um, Gary? Where are you, bud? I haven't stuck him in the fridge, have I? No. Gary! 
I'm not kidding around, Gary. Where are you? Oh, there's like a little... Oh, it's the bit under the stairs. Okay, okay. Righto. Gary! You can fucking hear him. Where's he gone? I probably shouldn't have abused him before. Great way to start the day, by the way. Just fucking smashing a, smash a soft drink. Alright, I'll see how we go this time. Hey, we won a dollar. Um, no, eager to know where the fuck Gary's gone. He was a good goose. I can, yeah. Maybe he's died and like his spirit's haunting me. There we go. Alright, so we got the sideshow. This is the one I sort of wanted to cover as well. Um, because we've got Luna Park in Melbourne and we get the Melbourne show around my birthday in September. And it's usually set up this way. So we got some rides. So there we go. Um, set card. Eight rides for 20 bucks. 25 for 50. Alright, so we're going to be... Yeah, bit, a bit frugal with their uh, ride passes. Yo, I can't want to go on the rides. Let's go to a ride. What's involved on here? Oh, these used to make me sick as a kid. I used to get really sick on these. Belly used to fit in them either. Oh! 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 Uh. I, everywhere I look, it's all spinning. All spinning. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> Maybe it's you. Maybe you. Two prize credits. Okay. Oh, pick a prize. Uh, so what do we got? Bouncy ball, green snake, uh, snow cone. Ah, oh, cat pillow. That looks cute as fuck. Yeah, let's get a bouncy ball. At least some for the rest of these kitties now. <laughs> right off. Give me that. Give me my prize. Take my business elsewhere. Yeah, let's let's do a balloon one. Three bucks. I think this is all Ooh, I got left. Right. This is you, this is the unfortunate yeah. reality of um, the amusement park. It was always super expensive. Let's go for this one. Hey, there we go. Oh, yep, yep, okay. So we gotta try and get the, um, the widest area. Ah, shit. Oh, two credits. That's good enough. Um, do I want the hot dog or the hammer? Mmm, can I go two hot dogs? Winner, winner, winner! Balloon pop nah, winner! we got a hot dog and a crown. Hey, nice job, winner. Here you go. Okay, give me that. And his bin, maybe? Oh, there they are. They like gang up on you and shit. Hang on, there's scratch tickets in here. I'm gonna get a scratchy. Yeah, give me that. Uh, anything else? Oh, cheesy poofs. Yeah, I'll have some of them. <laughs> They're in the packet. They're fine. So these guys, like, harass you? They... Oh, shit. Oh shit, he's on fire! Oh fuck! What's an old scratch ticky worth? Used. Oh, okay, okay. You can sell it for money. Alright. We'll dump all this shit in. Hey baby, that smoking don't look good on you. You ought to quit that. Uh, hang on. 550 for the hot dog plush. Righto. Better than nothing. What do I get for my hard earned winnings? Ten bucks, nice. Sweet. Oh shit, they're on us. They're on my ass. <laughs> you go away. Did they just get... Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Ow, ow, no. Go away. <laughs> Dick. Um, how do I let go of the trolley? Fucking... Uh, you fuck off. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Can't 
getting accosted by bloody gangster robots. 